you want to know how amazing people connect? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. what you hear please share special thank you to our sponsors d scott smith for all your google advertising needs contact scott at dscottsmith.com and the lebanon chamber of commerce bringing the community together Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. So glad to have you all here today. Really, really excited about my really vibrant and energetic guest I have on today, Simone Hoa Aubrey. She is awesome out of Quebec, Canada. And uh, we met a while back and have had several great conversations. She is just a wonderful, wonderful person. So excited to bring her on. But before I do, just wanted to remind you that I am Russ Hedge. I am a coach, motivational speaker. I am an inspiration specialist. I am here to encourage and inspire you. You know, that's really a big reason for my podcast and my live shows is to bring good value, add value to your life and encourage you to be able to get out there and do great things because, you know, you're an amazing person and you can do amazing things. So get out there and do that today. So I also wanted to remind you that I am the author of Befuddled, Live the Life You Choose, a book to encourage you to live the life you choose, to get out there and do the things that you want to do and make a positive impact on the world. Also, every Wednesday, besides the podcast, uh, which is our, this Marketing with Russ podcast is every Monday and Thursday at 8 a.m. But on every Wednesday, I have the show The Experience Live with Russ and Scott. That's 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every Wednesday with incredible guests. And Simone will be one of those later on on that show as well. So looking forward to that. So just wanted to remind you of that. Again, also wanted to do just huge shout outs to our sponsors. Appreciate them so much. My uh, co-host, D. Scott Smith. Uh, doing Google advertising is awesome. And also Lebanon Chamber today. They're just awesome, incredible people. So thank you so much to them. So without any further ado, we are going to bring in Simone. She is ready to go. Hello, Simone. Hello, Russ. And hello to everybody, your community. How are you doing today? I'm feeling so good and so fine. You have no idea. <laughs> I'm sure I don't. You're always doing so good and so fine. That's awesome. Hey, I wanted to uh, just thank you so much for jumping in today and uh, being a guest because you have some incredible things going on. So let's start off by just telling people a little bit about what is going on in your life and in Simone's world. All right. Today in particular, being on this uh, show here with you, Russ, I like to share, you know, a little bit about what's going on right now in my life with the world now, what's going on in the world right now, because we all face this, um, you know, in a way, incredible and yet also um, in a critical time. So how do we navigate this, right? So even today, being in the show with you, I, I just feel so warm, so um Delighted to now share with people how I actually navigate my days <laughs> to face this world so that at least some people might get some ideas, some tips or something so that it can help them, you know, to improve their life, to face this economy in a better way. That is my purpose. Well, and that's what I love about you. You really know what your purpose is, what you're all about. You're helping bring people's superpowers out, people's just real purpose in their life. So in your coaching and speaking and all the things that you're doing, let us know 
exactly what you do? What kind of clients do you work with? What are you trying to achieve? All right. So let's talk now about the, the clients because to me, when we explain to people what we do, the clients that we are helping, I think is the most important element because the clients will determine now where you should be networking, how you would connect with people and how people will connect with you. So yeah. I feel that if I can say this now, um, the people that I would like to serve are in particular ambitious people. I say that word first because if we are not ambitious to go after what we like to do, even in business or even in our personal life, <laughs> I think, you know what, we, we won't go very far, right? So right, that's right. the first word. The second word is mission-driven people. Meaning, even in your career, working with a company, or you are an entrepreneur, mission-driven means you have a purpose in life and you pursue that purpose. It gives you the kind of fulfillment in your life so that will drive your career. It will drive your business with your passion for sure. But that's the thing, you know, about about vision driven people. Because if they're not, I cannot help them. Because we have to share the same values. When we share the same values, it makes things just so much easier. Right? You agree with that, Russ? Right? Right. Absolutely. Right. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Now what do I do? I actually help these ambitious driven uh, mission driven people to now achieve breakthrough because they want to break through something there which is blocking them. And most of the time, that blocking thing or the wall that they built in front of them is their own doing. Nobody's putting that wall there. Nobody's blocking them, in fact, but they feel somehow blocked and the feeling is inside. It is not outside. And so we build that wall which it is actually not a physical wall. It's an imaginary wall, but it is their own thing. And it's blocking right. people. So I help people to break through that wall. Practically in their mind, they can see themselves going through the wall. No kidding. You know, and by doing that on the other side of the wall, that's what they're looking for. But you have to go through that wall. Otherwise, you won't see it. And people are afraid to go through the wall. So with my conviction energy, which is my superpower, I am so convinced about what I do, my passion, my purpose, and the results that I will bring to my client that they will feel that energy from me and I empower them with that energy and they practically go through the wall with me very fast, Russ. Very fast, which is amazing, actually. And that is my superpower. <laughs> there you are. Well, you know, that is definitely your superpower and i am um i'm just amazed at your energy and all that you bring and who couldn't listen to you and want to break through that wall you know there's so many limiting beliefs that we have that people just limit what is there before them you know instead of living in a life uh, that is vibrant and abundant and full of opportunity they are limiting themselves and choosing not to do all that they can really do. So I just think it's awesome what you do because, and also because of the fact that you bring so much energy and so much excitement to it, who wouldn't want to go beyond that wall, right? And I think that is incredible. Um, you are uh, just just a wonderful person. So how many, uh, during this recent COVID year and all of that, um, have there been some challenges on the things or transformations on the things that you're doing? Um, or just tell us a little bit about that. First of all, that question is very interesting for me to address, Russ, because to really be going through this time, this economic time, we have to observe ourselves first, you know, how, how we are going to face it. And everybody goes through the same thing. For my particular case, what I did was actually I reanalyzed myself because I know that the pandemic is affecting people financially speaking and for sure, okay? Big companies, small companies, solo product, it's the same thing. Right. So I was wondering myself last year when we were confined, we cannot go out very much and all that. I now reanalyze myself and ask myself only one question. What can I do now? 
to still serve my client or even new clients who are struggling to actually be able to achieve this transformational result. You use the word transformation there, Russ. This kind of transformational result that they themselves will transform themselves. And that's the word. I cannot transform you. You have to be transforming yourself, which is self-transformation, and I can only help you there, you know, by guiding you, and then you do the thing. And with that, I did it myself. I transformed myself again. I reinvented my life 10 years ago in 2010 by going into another career with, with our contacts, with our experience. But I just jumped with both feet in there because it was like a leap of faith because I discovered my new passion and purpose. So I'm doing the same thing now again after 10 years. And what happened here is I did not leave my, my passion and purpose, no. But I found something which is still binding that passion and purpose, but it will get now to a higher human potential level. And that is, I found, I discovered my genius and superpower in June last year. <laughs> well, you know, that what I think is so incredible about that is that it's in this past year, people that have, you know, we used the big term last year, pivot, people that have pivoted, that have transformed themselves, that have reinvented themselves to take advantage of the opportunities that are in front of us. There's so many great things that are right there in front of us uh, that we can take advantage of, but people, because of fear, because of uncertainty, have really stayed back and really a lot of people have not really fulfilled things they could be doing, which is too bad because like you, there's amazing things out there that you can do. So you use the word pivot. I did. I did uh, big time this time uh, and not to be afraid because it's fear which is holding you back. You just have to defeat that fear somehow. And you know what? When I actually found my genius, well, I had so much fun. You have no idea. <laughs> and let's look at the word fear now. It's fear. Actually, it's a fear of failing. The fear of not being able to do what we like to do, but instead, even if you fail, doesn't matter. Because yeah. from fear to failing and then to achieving, to doing, then that F now becomes a word fun. You know, you discover things now, so you, you have the fun now to continue, to even expand it and make it even bigger and to succeed even more. So from fear to fun, that's what people should embrace from fear to fun. I like that. From fear to fun. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> well, I mean, because it's, you know, life on this earth is too short. Why not have fun, right? Exactly. Get out there and enjoy what you're doing because, right. you know, it's kind of sad if you don't enjoy what you're doing because then you're full of what? A life of misery and negativity. And that's not a good way to live, right? Oh, sure. For oh, sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That is so awesome. Hey, listen, um, you are you've got so many great things going on and uh you know do you have things now as we're up there in quebec i i don't know if you guys are starting to uh, now that we have the vaccine going things are starting to open a little bit able to do some new things what do you have coming up uh well here it depends on the area of the province and where in quebec and quebec is very severe actually in confinement and in the red and orange jaw zone, you know, we even have uh, at night now, we cannot even uh, go out after uh, 9.30 in some area. In my area, it's still 7 o'clock. Uh, you know what? Uh, no, sorry, 8. At 8, you have to stay home until 5 a.m. in the morning. So I'm still in that red zone. So what we do now for me now is it's difficult now to actually go outside and meet with people. You can during the day. And in the restaurants, it depends on where you are. In my area, restaurants are not allowed to open not yeah. allowed to open so therefore i can't even meet people like that you know what i mean even the distancing so what i'm doing now really uh is to uh leverage uh online uh, as much as i can uh, uh russ and wait until my zone becomes orange <laughs> then we can go into the coffee shop into the restaurants and with the distancing we can do something but not right now not right now. it is you know my number one office before COVID was the coffee shop. 
And so it was really hard when that was taken away. But I now here it started to open up a little bit in Oregon. There's different it's different in different counties, just like right. it is different provinces up there. That's different right. counties and different states are different. But uh, where I live, we're able to go into coffee shops and restaurants in small numbers with masks and social distancing and all that. But it's been nice to be able to see real people a little bit uh, and have a few meetings actually in person, which has been great. So, yeah, yeah. looking forward to more of that for sure. But, hey, listen, um, we are actually drawing to a close our time. So I wanted to make sure everybody gets a chance to know how to get in touch with you because they're going to want to know more about you, Simone. So how do people get in touch with Simone? All right. There's three ways. My uh, email, which is uh, great to have, is Simone Hoa. My name there, at passion number two success.com. That's my email. Passion mm-hmm. to success, but with the number two. And then, of course, my mobile, you know, in Montreal, in Quebec, which is 514 514- Seven 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 nine seven eight five. Anybody can text me, direct message me, and it will be a fast way of responding, you know, to people. And then, of course, simonhua.com is my website. On that website, actually, it's a small website, but it gives you enough information. And the new website is going to be launched in six weeks. So it's going to be much bigger and there will be many things in there, including genius and superpower in there. And I will give people so many things, videos for them to watch and really to see the whole thing about this new world that I'm creating, you know, for myself and for my clients is the new WhatsApp coming, which I really look forward to. Well, that's exciting. And you said the key word there, creating, because you need to step forward and you need to create things that are happening and make things happen. And so that is so awesome. I'll make sure and link to all that. And I know you're also on LinkedIn, so people can get in touch with you there as well. So make sure and put that information on the show notes so people can get in touch with you. And yeah, I just want to thank you so much for being on today. It's been a pleasure. I, I, it's been a pleasure getting to know you. You're a wonderful person and we're going to stay connected. And this is great. I already consider you a friend and you're awesome. And so thank you so much again. Um, and we will see you real soon. I'm going to go ahead and send you out to the green room. So hang on tight and we'll talk after, but thanks again. Thank you so much. And my love to your community. And until the next time, it will be a real pleasure. Thank you. You bet. See you in just a minute. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much. It's been what a pleasure to have you joining in today. I love this live format. And don't forget that it also stays on the platforms we're broadcasting on. And so you can watch on replay. So if you're watching on replay, push hashtag replay and let me know you've been watching. Comment, share it with your friends. Uh, Simone is an awesome person, and I really know that she added value today to me. So I'm hoping you gain that value as well, because she is just an incredible, energetic, and wonderful person making things happen. Again, we'll in the show notes, we'll link to all that information uh, so you can get in touch with her as well. And don't forget, this is every Monday and Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure and tune in where we have incredible guests, incredible people that connect and they teach you and add value to you and to me every Monday and Thursday. So we'll look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, have a great day and a great life. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. Be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss a single episode. Have an amazing day. 